everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim! Okay, we're ready to go. Uh, it's a new dawn, it's a new day. Uh, what happened last time? Well... My character was created Elwyn. Elwyn was created from plasticine and other such things. I <laughs> I don't know. He was, yeah, he, he was brought into our attention. And uh, yeah, he found himself being carted off. As we open the door to the lovely flute music, I think it's a flute, a yard's flute. Uh, and yeah, we were we were carted off to our execution, which was uh, conveniently interrupted by a dragon. We fled for our life and found ourselves n here, the nearest civili civilized place after our escape. And we're uh, now sort of reeling from our experiences. We don't know what the hell's going on. But last night we spent the night practicing our spells. Now. Well, as I said last time we left off, the way to get your magic up is by uh, increasing your... by practicing, rather, in certain schools of magic. Um, so I leveled up my Conjuration, which is now 26. I leveled it, leveled it up one level, and I leveled up my Destruction. Leveled that up one level as well. The way I did it was uh, I summoned my Familiar, and then I started attacking it with flame, and uh, upon doing so I was leveling up my destruction, and every time my familiar attacked me, because I was attacking it, my conjuration level went up. So I managed to be able to practice conjuration and destruction. I couldn't quite practice restoration, because I'm f fully healed, so it doesn't seem to work. Like, unlike in Oblivion, where you could just heal yourself until the cows came home, uh, you can't do that on this. So I'm still level 20 restoration. But level now level 26 conjuration and level 17 destruction. So that was what I did last night, and we read a book. I say we. Elwyn read a book, and it was a book on do, 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 the history of the book of the Dragonborn, volume whatever it is. No volumes here, just the one book. Uh, so he read that as he was sat pondering what the hell happened in the day. So, uh, we will relay what the book was about in due course, as I say, we'll sort of go with the flow. Uh, but before I leave the inn, a couple of things I want to do. I was going to do this off camera, but I decided to do it on camera. Uh, we're going to try using the alchemy lab. Now, I have um, sampled all of my ingredients that I had. You have to sample them before you can reveal their first property. So he spent the night gritting flowers between his teeth, trying to sample the essence from from the ingredients to see what properties they held. And he's discovered a few bits and bats. So much so that we can actually create a restore health potion by combining the blue mountain flowers that we've picked with those rock warbler eggs, which we found beneath the uh, hell Hellguard. Helgen? Helgen, I think it was, the, the, the place where we were almost killed. Uh, yeah, so we're going to combine those to create ourselves a potion of restore health. Restore 22 points of health as my pad almost flew off my knee as I adjust my headset. Uh, how do we create? Clear selections, we can craft it with X. Craft a potion. Completed. And a couple more for good measure. So we have ourselves some nice nifty restore health potions, and we can also create, if I go back to restore magicka, by combining the essence of Mora Tapinella mushroom with a petal from the red mountain flower, we can create ourselves a potion of. Uh, there we go. Restore magicka. And we shall increase uh, alchemy by creating that. And that might be it. We can recreate a damage stamina poison, but uh, we don't need that for the moment. So uh, there we go. That'll do us for alchemy. I'm just curious as to what, how powerful those potions are in comparison to the ones we picked up before. Yeah, these are potions of minor healing and minor magicka. We've picked those up. Uh, 
Restore health is 22 points of health. That's 25, so it's slightly less potent than those we've picked up, but not by much. And considering we're only sort of a novice alchemist, that's actually pretty decent. I, s I remember in Oblivion it was very, very uh, tedious when you first started out in your uh, alchemical endeavours. So yes, we've created our first few potions. So these potions are ones that we're not going to be selling, we're going to be using these for our own devices. Restore health and restore magic are very uh, useful for a mage. Um, any potions that we do make to sell will obviously come in the future when we have an abundance of alchemical materials to use, but as of now we don't have that luxury. Okay, so before we leave, um, we're, there's a couple of things that we might want to discuss with the locals. Get a bit of gossip, a bit of news about town, would be nice. Can't afford to buy anything yet, but uh, never mind. We got rooms and food. Drink too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. Very good. Well, uh, any rumours lately? Anything that I should be uh, concerning myself with as a newcomer around here? There have been whispers. A boy up in Windhelm, name of Aventus Aretino, been trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Talk to Aventus Aretino. Any more rumours? Have you seen that shrine of Azura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. Shrine of Azura? Oh, these are going to stock up, aren't they, pretty quickly? <laughs> these side quests. Any more rumors? Looking at the Riverwood trader had his store broken into the other night. Oddly enough, barely anything's been stolen. Oh, that didn't add to a list. We've got something of a love triangle here in Riverwood. Fandel and Sven, both vying for Camilla's affections. Well, quite the gossiping town, isn't it? Word is, Ulfric Stormcloak escaped from the Imperials. War's only gonna get worse now. And Nighting Grey. I think we've exhausted all the gossip there is for a small backwater settlement like this. Uh, any leads for work? I mean, I, I'm short of coin and I don't have enough c potions to sell. And I, I suppose I may need to earn my keep just to keep a room, a roof over my head. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Kill the bandit leader located at Redoran's retreat. Okay, thanks. Mm-hmm. And the braggart named Ragnar was boastful no more When his ugly red head rolled around on the floor She is stalking me, isn't she? Okay, you wanna talk? You're that visitor been poking around. Any rumors from you? Word is Ulfric Stormcloak escaped from the Imperials. War is only going to get worse now. Yeah. She's not quite as much uh, of a gossip queen as this guy is. Okay, well thank you for your patronage this uh, last night. I was you know, I was very very grateful for a roof over my head. But I really now must run. Things to do. And you? Feindall thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. Oh, this is a love triangle. You're one of the three points of the triangle, are you? Okay, we can tell him we saw a dragon. <laughs> yes, as if he's going to believe us. That's fresh supplies. Sure we can find that ourselves, but yes, a bit of gossip. We're not below uh, a bit of gossip may lead to something beneficial somewhere down the line. Camilla Valerius knows I'm the best man in Riverwood. That elf is kidding himself if he thinks she would choose him over me. I've seen him sneaking over to the Riverwood trader to speak with her when I'm not around. He's wasting his time. Okay, what can we say here? Persistent. Why didn't you do something about it? You may be right. Camilla may see Feindel as little more than a friend, but why take chances? Here, give Camilla this letter. It's full of venomous nonsense. Tell her it's from Feindel. Oh, now I've got involved in a bloody tit-for-tat love triangle. Well, <laughs> thank you, but goodbye. Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness me. All right. And he resorts back to playing his flute. You're kind of 
Slizy. Whoa, what's going on? Who are you talking to? Who's somebody? Whoa! The village drunk presents himself. Yeah, I said, run along. <sighs> Fresh morning air. Isn't it glorious? Okay, now, um, okay, let's just take stock of what's going on as I rush to the flowers. Pretty flowers, thank you. Um, I'm still getting accustomed to everything here. Okay, we have a map. We have a sleeping giant inn. We have uh, Riverwood Trader, which is just down here. The Alvor and Sigrid's house. And Sven and Hilda's house. It seems like a very small settlement indeed. Nothing to harp on about, is it really? So I think the first port of call is probably going to be the Riverwood Trader. Just if it, you know, just to get a, a sort of a, a peek of what's going on, what's to sell, what, what's available to sell and buy. How do we get into the trader? That's the next question. Is it this? Ah, good. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <coughs> a customer. Sorry you had to hear that. Don't mind me. You carry on with your domestic ramblings here. Ah, okay, that must be Camilla then, eh? Well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. Don't mind if I do. What have you got uh, available for me to buy? The Riverwood Trader is everything you need in a general store. What have you got for sale? Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Treasures, eh? Oh, you've got quite a few bits, I see. Let me have a look here. Weapons. No need of weapons right now. Apparel. Ooh, we're getting into the realms of something that looks rather interesting here. Mage robes. Blue mage robes. Magicka regenerates 50% faster. Novice robes of conjuration. Ring of minor blocking. Ring of minor magicka. Increase your magicka by 20 points. Oh, these are all going to be going on to uh, <laughs> Elwyn's shopping list. Okay, well, before we start uh, ogling the local wares here, Blue Mage Rose Magicka regenerates 50% faster. Uh, if we can get actually to my own robes. Excuse I me. better get back to cleaning the store. Excuse me, sir, I'm just looking at my own robes here. Novice robes. Magic can regenerate 50% faster. It's exactly the same. So what am I paying for then? What am I paying all that money for? Just a different look? What a mess. Just a better look? Is that all I'm paying for? I mean, these robes do look a bit tatty, I have to admit, but... My sister Camilla <laughs> or I will be happy to help you. Oh, sister. Maybe you're looking for some... Take a look. But it was daughter. <laughs> no disrespect to you, of course. Uh, so yeah, what we're paying for effectively is uh, the fact that they're actually probably blue and slightly less tatty looking than the ones I've got, but 465 gold is uh, a bit much to pay for looks <laughs> when you're strapped for cash. Circle of Restoration, that's quite... would be quite handy. These would be decent as well. Conjuration robes, not only 50% magic increase, regeneration rate, but 12% less conjuration cost. Do, 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 and this one here. So we'll keep those in mind. Ring of Mine and Magicka. Potions, we can brew our own, but 
It's always nice to look at other people's. Food! Food, we. I have no understanding of what food does in this game. I actually was under the impression that collecting things like tomatoes would work like it did in Oblivion, where they would actually double up as um, alchemical ingredients, but it doesn't seem to be the case in this. They don't seem to have alchemical properties, so it's just a case of them restoring health. But not a lot of health, so maybe not as useful as I first thought. And of course, books! Oh, here we go. These are all spell tomes as well. We can definitely use all of these, I think. Clairvoyance. Frostbite. Fury. Lesser Ward. Armor. Oak flesh, raised zombie. And these aren't exactly majorly expensive. These are definitely probably the first things we're going to buy from the shop when we have enough funds. Is definitely expand our spell repertoire. This is an absolute must for Elwyn. His, his eyes are popping out of his out of his sockets right now. And of course, we have some miscellaneous items, some soul gems, a broom. <laughs> What on earth would we need a broom for? Iron ingots, what picks? This is all this is all new to me, which is why I'm obviously going through with a fine tooth comb. It's not exciting for you guys, but it's it's very intriguing for me. Okay, I'm gonna sell my stuff. I don't know. Uh, he's got 787 gold, so we're just gonna unburden ourselves and just sell everything that we possibly can here. Have it all, buddy. I will unburden my crap upon you. To keep the fur boots, to keep my feet nice and warm. And as you can see, my funds are increasing nicely. Is that everything? Yeah, it seems to be. Potions, don't want to sell any. Oh, yeah, frostbite potions. Um, frostbite venom. Can have them. Can have restore stamina. I don't really use stamina as a mage, so you can have that as well. Food. This is what it is. This is the interesting bit. They, they don't weigh a lot and they don't cost a lot, so I'm just going to keep them now until I find out a, a decent use for them. Maybe I can cook up a meal that acts as a healing potion. I don't know. Um, bounty. We're going to have to read that, actually. Uh, we have a wolf pelt. There we go. Okay, so we've unburdened ourselves and we've earned ourselves. Uh, 566 gold pieces that we're currently at now, which is definitely looking a lot healthier than before. Okay, so, <clears throat> do you sell spells? Well, we've seen he sells spells, but we'll just ask him in case he might know somebody else in the area that also sells spells. I think I have a few old spell books laying about. If you want more, you'll have to go to the College of Winterhold. There it is again, you see? The mention of, uh... That college. The College of Winterhold. Holy cow. Excuse me. Sorry about that. I was just checking my uh, uploading videos and then tripped over a wire here. <laughs> Set myself flying. Okay, so we spoke to him and we're going to speak to him about, uh, obviously, his argument he's just been having with his sister. Something has obviously gone awry. We're going to take a nosy poke as to what it is. Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a break in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. I could help you get the claw back, apparently. For a price. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northeast of town. Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Do I? No, I... By the eight, fine. But only to the edge of town. Caught between a rock and a hard place here. Where's she off? 
Whoa! Don't! Oh, she's gone! I better go after her! <laughs>